The Bad Brother Isaac had two sons. The older son's name was Esau, which means hairy, and the younger son's name was Jacob, which means something like cheat. Isaac liked Esau the best, because he was big and strong and hairy, and could hunt. One day, when Isaac was old and blind, he asked Esau to go and kill an animal, cook the meat, and bring it to him. When you have done that, he promised, I shall tell you what you will get after I die. Esau ran off, his bow slung over his shoulder and his hunting knife in his hand. But he was in such a hurry that he did not notice his mother, Rebecca, hiding behind the tent. Which son did Rebecca like the best? Jacob, of course. Partly because he stayed at home to help her, and partly because he was clever and sneaky, just like her. Rebecca decided then and there that Isaac's promise to Esau should go to Jacob instead. So she went and found Jacob. Together they plotted and planned, and in no time at all Isaac had a visitor with a steaming plate of meat. Back so soon, my boy. Oh, my. Oh, that meat smells delicious. Bring it here at once, Esau. The son brought the meat to his father. The son set it down. But the son was not Esau. Here you are, father, said Jacob, in as gruff a voice as he could muster. But the old man was not fooled. Isaac may have been blind, but he was not yet deaf. Is that really you, Esau? Come here and let me touch those hairy arms. Jacob came closer. He stretched out his arms, and around them were wrapped the hairy skins from an old goat. Isaac touched the arms. He felt the hairy skin, and he smiled. It is you, Esau, he said. Well then, here is my promise. When I am gone, you will have my land and grow many crops. And besides that, I am putting you in charge of the whole family. They must do whatever you tell them. Jacob could hardly believe it. So when his father had kissed him, he ran off to tell his mother. And it was a good thing, for not a minute later Esau came back to his father with another plate of meat. I'm back, he said cheerfully, and I can't wait to hear your promise. What? exclaimed Isaac. I've already given my promise away. And he told Esau what had happened. Esau listened and bit by bit his face grew as red as his hair. Jacob! he shouted. You cheat! One day I will kill you for this! But God was watching, and he had something very different in mind. <laughs>